Getting started with HTML5 charts in Jasper Reports in Jaspersoft Studio. This is part 10, heat maps. Hello and welcome back to our getting started with HTML5 charts in Jasper Reports in Jaspersoft Studio series. Today we'll talk about heat maps. Heat maps allow you to display a color-coded cross table with aggregation. They're often used in dashboards and KPI measurement tools to make data readable at glance. Let's see how we can create and configure a heat map in Jaspersoft Studio. This is a report based on the orders table from the sample dataset. To create a heat map, drag and drop uh, HTML5 chart to the report pane and select heat map uh, in the chart type uh, dialog. Then switch to the data configuration tab and here you will need to define your categories on X and Y axis. Heat maps are similar to cross tabs and you think of uh, defining X and Y axis as defining your uh, row and column groups. Then you also need to define your measure and the calculation function. So let's say we want to create a heat map that will show us the number of orders for uh, different cities and different countries. So for our x-axis expression, we will use the ship country field. For y-axis expression, we will use our um, ship city field. And our uh, value expression will be order ID with the aggregation function of count. Let's take a look at what we will get. Well, it doesn't look much like a map, but the solid square. But if you will hover over different uh, cells here, you will see that they are actually separated. Instead, we do not have any mapping of different values to different colors. Why is that? The difference between heat map and other charts is that heat map is based on something called color axis. Color axis defines how different uh, data ranges uh, for uh, different data points map to different colors. We haven't defined it, so we will need to do that and let's see how it can be done. To do that, switch to the chart formatting tab and press show advanced properties. Here you'll see the group called color axis. Color axis can be defined in two different ways. One way is that we will uh, provide the minimal color and the maximum color and that the high chart engine will uh, build a gradient and do the best guess based on data how to map uh, different uh, data ranges to different colors in that uh, gradient. Another way is to define uh, data classes with a specific uh, date ranges and specific colors. So let's start off by doing exactly that. To define the data classes, find the data classes property here in the list and press modify. Then you will be presented in items list array, press plus. First you'll need to pick a color. So this will be our uh, lowest class, minimal, so let's pick something red. We will start from 1 and end with 3. And this name will be low. Then press plus again to define another class and it will be the medium class and will be something like yellowy. It will go from 3 to 5 and will be called medium. Then let's define the third class which will be the highest and it will be green. We will need to define here only the from because we would want it to go from 5 to all other values that are greater than 5 and it will be highest. So let's uh, click preview again, and as you can see now, our heat map looks uh, much better. We can also uh, create a different class here in the fourth class, which will be our zero, and make it look like gray. We will do from zero to zero, and give it a name, zero. So now you see how our heat maps looks with four data classes. Another way to uh, build a color axis in the heat map, as previously mentioned, would be to define the minimal and maximum color. 
the uh, high charts engine will take the minimal and maximum color and build a gradient and then will map all the values in the heat map to different colors from this gradient. To define the color axis like this, uh, locate the min color and max color properties in the color axis group. Uh, double click on them and you will have to change this value because this is just the default suggestion. So let's uh, modify it uh, slightly and do the same for the max color. And now let's press show chart preview and see what we get. You know, just our chart is, our heat map is uh, more um, detailed now. We have uh, more different data classes. And instead of our uh, legend, we have uh, this uh, gradient displayed here with uh, showing how different values on the chart map to different colors. You can hover over different cells and notice how there is a triangle appearing uh, on the bottom showing us where exactly the uh, on, on the color axis the value falls. This uh, kind of uh, color axis can be of two types. Uh, it can be uh, either linear or logarithmic and uh, you will have to select uh, one or another depending on the data set that you have. By default it's linear. Another thing with the uh, heat maps is that if you want to uh, modify them not all of properties are unfortunately exposed in this uh, heat map category. For example, we would have a requirement to uh, add borders between cells uh, here, and the properties that do that are not visible here. To get all the properties for heat maps, uh, I would suggest going to the API uh, reference for the high charts, specifically to apihighcharts.com slash high maps slash plot options dot heat map and uh, see what uh, properties are uh, modifiable. And here we'll see there is a property called border color and border width. Let's see how we can apply them to our heat map. To do uh, that, let's press the add button here and start typing the property name. It will be plot options, heat map, border color. Let's say we want to have our border color black. Let's add another one, plot options, heat map, border width, and have border width as 1. Let's try to preview it again. And as you can see, uh, borders now appeared and our heat map looks quite cleaner. Thanks for watching. In this episode, we have learned how to create and customize our heat maps. We have also learned what is a color axis and how we can define one. In our next video, we'll learn more about gauge charts.